we will look at how to create profile toolpaths, both using inside and outside cutting on vCarve. To get started, shift select all the items you want to be cut on the outside. So in this example, we're going to select the circle, hold shift, select this rectangle, continue holding shift, select this object which is our tenon, and select the rectangle over here. These are all vectors in which we want the shop bot to cut around the outside of our pink line. Select the right toolpath. In this example we're doing profile. We use profile when we want to cut all the way through the material. Again your start depth should be zero but this time we're cutting all the way through the material. So unlike our pocket examples, the cut depth here must always match the thickness. If you recall from our setup, this is 0.75 inches thick, therefore our cut depth must also be 0.75 inches. Again, our tool should be upcut. If it's not, click select and select upcut. We're going to cut around the outside of this of these vectors, so make sure outside cutting is selected. In our next toolpath, we'll show you inside. Profile toolpaths require the use of tabs. Pocket toolpaths do not. Since this is a profile toolpath, we must add tabs. Be sure to set your length and thickness to what you see here. 0.5 is our default length of tab, 0.2 is our default thickness of tab. Click Edit Tabs, and now watch what happens when I put my cursor on any of my vectors. See how that check mark appears? For now, let's put one tab on either side of our box. one vector on either side. I'm sorry, one tab on either side. Our circle is so small that we're not going to worry about putting a tab on it. When we're all done, click close. And now we can go down and name our toolpath. Profile 1 outside of rectangles. Again, you can put whatever you want here so long as you don't just leave it as profile one. Add some sort of description. Click calculate. And again, we can practice using our preview window. If you just want to preview that most recent toolpath, make it sure it's selected. Preview selected toolpath. And if I click with one finger and slide with a second, you can, I can orbit and you can better see the tabs here. Okay, notice there's no tabs on our circle. If I want to preview everything, I can reset the preview, preview all toolpaths. Notice it does them in the order they are listed here. If I want to change the order, I could move this down, reset the preview, and preview all toolpaths. Notice how it did the circle at the end. We actually want the circle to be first, so I will move that back up the list. The reason for this is we want any inside toolpaths to be first. And here's why. Imagine you have this cut out already, and then you start doing the inside. You run the risk of breaking these tabs free by the stress you're putting on the piece. So the rule of thumb is to do any inside and pocketing first. So list those first. Then do all outside cutting at the end. So if I reset the preview and run this one more time, you'll see I do everything on the inside and then my outside profile. Now, 
there's still a few things left. We need to do this circle and this mortise. In these examples, we will again do profile. Again, we're going to cut all the way through. Again, we're going to use a quarter inch up cut. But this time, we must do inside cutting. Scroll down. Both of these pieces are small enough that you don't need tabs. But if you want to add them just to be safe, again, add tabs, edit tabs, one on either side, and maybe just two on our circle. Okay. If you want to delete a tab, click on it again and get rid of it. Close. Profile. Inside. Circle slash rectangle. And calculate. We would again reset our preview. Preview selected toolpath. And there you have it. Let's preview all toolpaths. Reset, preview all. I'd like to point something out. Both of these circles, if you look at our 2D drawing, started at exactly one inch. But it's clear that for some reason, in our 3D view, this circle is larger. The reason for that is this was cut around the outside of the line and this circle was cut on the inside of the line. So take note and make the right decision for future cuts. When should be inside and when should be outside. At this point, you should show your 3D view and preview to Mr. Estoc, and he will approve it for taking it to the shop bot. To take it to the shop bot, you must click File, Save As. Make sure you are saving a CRV file and make sure you're saving it to the desktop. Always put your name on it and some sort of descriptive word and save the file. You'll then want to go to your desktop, find the CRV file, and put that on a flash drive. Then take the flash drive to the shop bot and open your file and prepare to cut.